breakfast in Thailand. This is a buffet. Uh, it's about half of what you see here. Oh, I've got the hiccups. Oh, beautiful food. Um, off to Chiang Mai today. Right, we're in Chiang Mai. Traffic's a lot better here than Bangkok. A little bit more relaxed. Uh, it's an old city. It looks pretty good. It's a bit gloomy day, that's a Right, this is called Monsoon in Thailand. Pissing down with rain. And uh, got a wonderful two pole structure over there. And I don't know what sort of DDOs they are. It does have some two directors. And for, for a change, it's got some LV fuses. Um, I don't know what that big white building is. But it, this is heavy rain. I mean, it's bucketing down. This is a canal area of Chiang Mai. It's, uh, they've got a lot of little stalls here, but because the rainy season's just starting to start, a lot of them have gone to higher ground. Uh, they eke out a little bit of a living. You'll notice uh, the structures are pretty run down. I think there's mostly poverty here. But uh, they seem okay. They're happy amongst themselves. So uh, I think that's all you need. Uh, this is the latest something or other hotel in Chiang Mai. It uh, sort of looks impressive, but uh, trust me, it's not. It's uh, pretty well run down, but at uh, $80 New Zealand a night, I can't really grizzle. Everything does work, but uh, it's a dim and dingy. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I don't know what that's like. And an 18 year old witch tried to have me on in reception yesterday afternoon. Shut her up when I broke a broomstick. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. We've got two nights here and then we're off to Chiang Rai. starting to get into the jungle now uh, I think it's going to rain and we're going to get wet um, pretty basic housing by the looks of it <laughs> the road is really narrowing up now oh well we'll see what happens uh, baby. Oh, playing with elephants baby, baby. <laughs> And go up Baby in your fruit photo as soon as you feed him. <laughs> as soon as you feed mum, she'll follow. And all these elephants are interested in elephants food. for a swim. Uh, this is a sanctuary where they rehabilitate them after they've been injured in shows and that. It's quite hot, it's probably, I don't know, 35, 36 degrees, I really don't know, it's hot. The elephants love it, they cool off. And very quiet animals, they're contented, they're being well looked after here. Other, and totally different to other places that they were taken to and abused. Um, here they're very well looked after and, and treated. This one's got a damaged nose from when it was a, a child and is pregnant. This one is pregnant and they think the other one there is pregnant. These are all girls and their population is growing. This is the restaurant we were eating. There's still elephants hanging around. Quite a few people here. Um, some people actually live here. I find that sort of not, not much of a not, you know, facilities are pretty thin here so it's probably not an easy place to live.
Now we're in the, the jungle. This is uh, the different tribes live here. Long necks, big ears, and God knows what else. So we're just casually making our way through. <laughs> uh, looks interesting. They have a pretty, I don't know what you call it, basic life, I guess. Uh, we're in the Long Neck village. They're all um, pretty simple life here. They're eking out a living. Uh, all their necks are stretched and uh, very friendly people. They're happy and I'm happy. Um, no stress, no worries. Nobody getting upset. They start from a young age. Little girl there. A lot of hand weaving. <laughs> happy people. Uh, I think a lot of this is not made here. Uh, but it's, it's, it's good quality. The hand, hand woven scarves are absolutely terrific. They're 200 baht. What's that? Oh, about $10 New Zealand. Okay. The other part of the um, Long Neck Village, they're, they're, they're pretty calm people. Um, I don't think they make much money here. It's just the start of the wet season. There's not many tourists. Uh, it's okay. They seem happy. They've got enough. They're not skinny. Uh, so they've got enough food and resources to keep them going. But I'm pretty sure a lot of this is not made here. Uh, the chickens are not very big around here. <laughs> I think uh, they only get to eat what they find, nothing else. <laughs> 